Hello everyone, in this next project I'm going to be showing you how to make a multi-purpose stand. Um, you can use this stand for many different things. You can use it for your home decor, you can use it for your shoes. Uh, the possibilities are endless. So um, have fun with it. So let's get ready. Here's a list of the tools that I use for this project. These are the wood measurements that I use for this build. And also, uh, please feel free to convert to your nearest units that you're most comfortable with. And you also find the measurements in the description box. Now that you have your materials ready, let's get ready to build this project. Step one, arrange your wood cut in this manner. One of the things I realized about DIY projects is that they're very much um, not predictable so you get to have fun and get to learn new things along the way so um, have fun while you're doing this project now that you're done arranging the lumber for the project uh, make sure that you put the middle lumber centered uh, just make sure that it's halfway between the two bottom and the top lumber Before you can start drilling, um, just if you have clamps, you can put clamps on both sides of the lumber um, to make sure that, that your wood doesn't shift while you're drilling. Um, it helps a lot and it keeps everything right in place. Since the wood that we're dealing with is a bit thick, um, so what I did was to pre-drill my wood. So at the top, middle and the bottom of, of the wood, I pre drill two holes each side uh, to make sure that when I'm putting on the screws, it's much uh, quicker and also smoother as well. And also it helps prevent um, the wood from splitting. After I was done pre-drilling, um, I used my 70 millimeter screws uh, to securely tighten the two wood cuts together. I put two screws on the top, middle and the bottom section of the um, wood structure uh, to make sure that it's securely tightened and do it throughout the whole structure. So you'll be doing about um, six different times. Step one is all done. Now it's time for us to move on to the next step. Step two. So basically here we're just repeating step one all over again. I didn't find it necessary to put wood glue between the joints uh, because this structure alone when it's done, it doesn't have to carry much weight. Here's a tip, if you don't have wood clamps in your possession, what you can do is to put the wood cuts against a wall and you can start drilling for them, it will prevent them from shifting. The base of the stand is all done, now we move on to the next step which is sanding. I use an 80 grit sanding paper which I attach to my sander. I wasn't much worried about the factory markings, the red factory markings that you see. Uh, because I knew I was going to stain my, my wood um, black. Along the way while I was standing, I realized I wasn't wearing my safety glasses, which is important that you do. Uh, the closest thing I could grab was to scuba diving glasses. Uh, they do have a cool feature to it, but it was hard for me to breathe. Remember to share this video with your friends, with your family, or anyone who may have interest in making a project like this. Step 4. Prepare to stain or paint your stand. For the base or the legs of the stand, what I used was a spray paint. Um, the color was black and also it's a matte finish. It has a bit of a nice matte finish to it. And it also helped to cover those red factory markings that I talked about earlier. I stepped outside for the painting process uh, because it's always advisable to do it in a well-ventilated area uh, to get a bit of fresh air.
for the shelves of the stand i decided to uh, use a stain to them uh because i was aiming to get a two-tone looking stain uh which i finally achieved so the stain is much easier and quicker as well uh i've put a link on the description of the name of the stain that I, of the oh, sorry of the stain that i used let's move on to the fifth step which is the last and final step of putting everything together so this is the fun part where you put everything together um, so what I did here was just to put the shelves between the the layers of the of the stand so it's three shelves and then three layers and you put everything together I put two screws on each side of the corner um, you can also get away with getting putting one in the middle but I didn't want to put one in the middle because I didn't want a screw right in the middle of the shelf um, here's a tip if you have wood filler in your possession please do use it it will help cover the wood holes which are caused by the drilling process Um, this last shelf was a bit complex in when I was putting it together because I needed to work in an angle so it was a bit difficult for me to start drilling the screws down in an angle. So just keep note of that. Now that we're all done with the project, be happy, smile, be proud of yourself. You've done such a great job. Uh, please remember to share this project with your friends, with your family. And until we see each other next time, cheers. Bye.